get difficult where like the only thing they can do is sometimes it feels like they can move but once they get stuck in shield there's not a whole lot they can do and Mario's really good at making you get stuck in shield but a good dash grab right there from Cosmos up there into the upper is going to be 23% but what I really like about Cosmos Mario and I'm talking to this with someone earlier just Cosmos makes his character look so fast he's always running yeah. he's just always being unpredictable like never let your opponent know your next move yeah, but he's getting stuck on these platforms, Master, with a nice read on the back here. That's Zenyu. Zenyu. Okay. I'm a little... I would just... No, I know, I know. Oh, great spot dodge. Knowing that Cosmo is going to try to run in, get another dash grab. Alright, both players just kind of spacing each other out right now, throwing out their hitboxes. Zenyu getting a good backup. Right now, this is... It's just dash dancing around each other. Neither one wants to get opened up because both of these characters are so momentum-based. But once they get hit, they can just take it for so long. Exactly. But now, Cosmos off the ledge. Let's see what Zenyu's going to do. Just running back and forth, trying to condition. See what Cosmos is going to do. Oh, he looks for the roller, but the Nair is going to beat it out. Oh, great. Uh, what's the word? Pivot grab. Yeah, there we go. The ledge trap here, and he calls out the jump with a down smash. That move hits both really high and really low, to be honest. Such a great call, and that down smash so fast. All right, now Zenyu has to try and has to try and force his way in because Cosmos is going to be playing this very defensively, dashing in and out, occasionally using the back air, but doesn't want to commit to anything. Zenyu still trying to get this dog kill. Throws out that up smash, getting punished with the jab by Inkling and Auntie. So that's the best punish you could uh, you can hope for, especially when it comes to ink. Thing. Yeah, exactly. It does so much damage on its own, plus it applies the ink. Okay, locked in the shield there. Yeah, I've been seeing Cosmos go for that off the ledge quite a bit because it, a really lot of, good. A lot of players tend to hold shield at the ledge and just try and react to what you do. You neutral get up your grab, things like that. But you can force them to hold shield because you literally can't let go of shield while you're being hit with that for... I forget what the actual number of hits is, but it's a good number of hits. Is it uh, like with Jab, where it's like 11? Or 11? Yeah. It might be 11. And I'm not entirely sure. Fair enough. But uh, this lead's slowly getting away from Zenyu. He has him at the percent where he's going to kill, but Cosmos is not making it easy to get hit. Zenyu not knowing what to do. He's trying to throw out these moves and finally gets that up smash. Only 59% on Zenyu. We all know with Mario, that's one combo. That's one grab. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. like... One or two grabs and Zenyu's in the lead here. But a downer gonna open up Cosmos. And again, Cosmos just using Inkling's incredible movement options in the dash. Making it so oh, difficult for Zenyu to find an in without a jump that back air is going to do it. Here we go. This is the kind of lead that you want. 14%, not letting Zenyu open you up. Not letting Mario open you up is so good. Stuffing him out and making sure he has to play your game be so difficult for Mario. Alright, up throw into the up air. Tries to put him on the platform, but it doesn't quite work out. So now he's just got reset to neutral. Try and dash in one more time and get some more damage. Well, that's a new one. Oh, here we go. There's, there's an up air combo from Zenyu barely missing that up air. That would have been so much damage. It might have even led to a kill. I genuinely think it would have killed with how high that town and city platform is. See... I was skeptical just because of how high town and city is, but you know what? I would have liked to see it, but uh, wishes can only be wishes. Yeah, we can only play a game of what ifs, but these two players are playing a game of percentages right now. Inkling just chipping away at, Ka at Zenyu's life. Uh, that's going to be it again, calling him out without the resources. Cosmos answering that with a two star. Very, very strong game. Started off really even, but once Cosmos got going. You know, he just ran all the way within. That's kind of the nature of Inkling, especially with a mechanic like Ink, where once you get a lead, it's so easy to just build your lead. Just snowball, yeah. Yeah. Both well, these characters are definitely snowball characters, and Cosmos was the one to answer first, so that kind of dictated how the rest of the match was going. All right, now the co uh, the panic Cosmos color swap here. I I feel I'm pretty sure he's ha he has a thing right now of just changing colors every game. Uh, just you know, keep his mind from set fresh or something. I'm not entirely sure what the specific reason is. Yeah. But he's been doing that. Worked out pretty well for him at Nas getting second. Uh, pretty impressive. But going to look to take a first here tonight, MSM. But Zenyu still standing in his way. Up throw into the neutral there. Not able to connect it. 
to parry, but only so much you can do, especially with a factor as safe as Inklings. Oh, he's trying so hard right now to hit him, but Inkling does not care who you are. Yeah, and they're both just kind of throwing out these rising aerials. Try as you know, play a game of chicken, you're gonna jump first. And it's working out here and there, but it's really only been straight hits. I love that air dodge from Cloudless, okay. and again, that down flash almost killing. Love Wait, the high recovery. Yeah, I love the preemptive up B, but that up smash is gonna take it, rollering him and taking that first lead here, Cosmos 84%. And again, we said both these characters are snowballing, and Kong has again dictated how the match is going to go. So let's see if Zenyu is able to catch up. Right, up throw into the up air, he's able to fast fall again. Another one, and in there, into the back, 61% onto Actually Zenyu. dancing on him. Dude, I love him doing the accomplice there. Anyway. Scouting out that roll with the pivot grab. I feel like one thing we're not seeing a lot from Cosmos is the splat bomb. He's respecting the cape that Zenyu has, and Zenyu able to finally take a stock with that up smash punch, but immediately off the angel platform, Cosmos going to find another jab and put Zenyu on the ledge. Here we go, this should be a punish. Up throw gets that down air. Here we go, get damage coming in, but going for an air instead of another up air. Only 32%, but damage is damage. You gotta thank for it. Wait, wait a minute. Oh! Here we go, he misses the up air that could have been huge for him to bring we himself back. We would have had our in. answer. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, he's already back in this. Yeah, percent is dead even now. I actually, I actually blinked and he was at 90. Zen oh, he misses the what tech. What a stock. That was definitely a Zenyu combo. Still right. got those. Up oh. Well, I don't think that's it. And he missed that down here, so that messed up the punish. I feel like he expected Zenyu to mash out a little harder than he was. Uh, and tried to, you know, him when he popped out of the berry with a down here, but it didn't work out for him, and now Zenyu's still alive. I, I don't know if that was a uh, correct. Yeah, I feel like you want to do what Chag likes to do, where he buries you, does down air into up air. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm just landing with an air. I don't Zenyu. Just skipping the whole 50-50 himself, so now even percents, especially, this is so good for Zenyu because he was losing by so much, and now he's able to bring this back. Up go. Here. Gets that straight hit. Oh, here we go. That's big. He's got the up into the nair, but a good landing forward air from Cosmos is going to answer back. I feel like Cosmos might be looking for the grab, but as I say that, he just goes for the back. Zenyu's definitely out of percent. Tries to shine him with the up B. Oh my gosh, Zenyu needs those up airs. Those are so close to hitting. What? Wow, it, I'd be furious. It clanked with the grab. It, yeah, it clanked and traded, but you know what? I guess that's just how it would be sometimes. I'd, I'd be upset. But Zenyu.